this is going to be my favorite 90 minutes of the festival, I guarantee you. And it's not only because of what you're going to see here on stage, it's because all the presenters, and especially uh, the hosts of, of Tested, are some of the most creative, diligent, thoughtful, fun, and just authentic people you'll ever have the chance to meet. So I say this with all due uh, respect and admiration. Please give, give it up for Will, Adam, and Norm. Hi. Hey, guys. Hello. Up. Hi. Check. Hello. Check. I'm Will from Tested. I'm Adam. Wait, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. I'm standing right next to you, uh, though. I'm soon to be former host of Mythbusters from Tested Adam. Woo! And I'm Norm. Thank you so much for coming. We are Tested.com, and we've had the privilege on our website to share our interests and our obsessions and the obsessions and projects of our friends in the maker community. And that's what we're going to see tonight. For the next 90 minutes, you're going to see presentations, demos, interviews, some fun videos, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's basically a week of the stuff we do on Tested in one evening. I love all the phones I see being held up. All yeah. Time. Well done. Um, awesome. So I guess that's it. Thank you guys for coming out. Adam, you need to take a seat right there. All right. I'm going to clear All the right. stage. All right. So well, for our first presentation, our first presenter is a local photographer. He practices the art of tintype photography. You may have seen some of his work on Tested and on the back of our set. And please welcome to the stage, Michael Schindler. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, good evening. I am Michael Schindler. I'm not a scientist, oh. but um, I am a photographer, and I make tintypes uh, using the wet plate collodion process, which is an early photographic process that was invented in 1851. And um, that's an era that really predates film as we think of film. Um, film being something you can go to the store and buy, put in your camera, take a picture with it. Um, in those days, if you wanted to make a photograph, you really had to make your own materials. And the reason for that is that they hadn't yet figured out how to uh, make the materials last long enough. They really didn't have any kind of shelf life. And with this particular process, uh, the plates only last for about 10 minutes. So what that means is that you have to do the processing wherever you're taking photographs. So what we're going to do is uh, make a photograph here. Thank you. Um, and turn the entire theater into a dark room. So we'll turn off the house lights and light it with a red, which we can use as a safe light. This process is only sensitive to blue light. So... Um, the first thing that I do is take a metal plate, in this case it's a sheet of aluminum that has a black enamel coating on it, and I coat the plate with a liquid nitrocellulose solution. <laughs> it just might. So I'm trying to just float this puddle across the surface of the plate and not spill any more of it than necessary. And it's really hard to talk while I do this. <laughs> there we go. Not too bad. OK. So um, since all of the processing has to occur while this plate is still wet, I'm kind of in a hurry to get it into the sensitizing solution. The material that I just poured on here is not actually light sensitive. It becomes light sensitive when it is sitting in this tank of silver nitrate, and that takes about three minutes to happen. There we go, so into the tank. What I really love about this process is, it, even though I've been a photographer for a long time, it wasn't until I started making tintypes that I really kind of figured out how photography worked. And it's just the process of making your own materials and knowing exactly what the ingredients are and then sort of asking yourself, hmm, like, what's that for? What does that do? And um, one great thing about this process is it's really very, very simple. There are only about eight chemicals involved in the entire process. So in here, I've got um, 
the liquid nitrocellulose that I've added a couple of different salts to. In this case, it's cadmium bromide and ammonium iodide. And those two salts will combine with the silver nitrate that's in this tank and will form silver iodide and silver bromide on the plate. And those are light-sensitive salts of silver. And they're pretty much the same light-sensitive salts that are used in almost every other photographic process. Even modern color films and papers have the same essential photochemistry. So this plate is starting to turn a little bit white as the silver salts form on its, on its surface. And in just another minute, it's going to be sensitive enough for us to take a photograph on. Now, it's not very sensitive. Um, if you ever shoot film, you probably notice it's usually rated with a film speed, maybe 100 or 400. Uh, in this case, if this had an ISO speed, it would be like 0.5. So <laughs> it's, it's pretty slow. And um, back in the 19th century, of course, they didn't have good artificial light sources, so they were using sunlight. And in bright open shade conditions, they would probably have had exposures of around, uh, you know, four to eight seconds. So um, with the aid of these very powerful power packs, we can get all the exposure that we need <clears throat> in just about um, in, in one, one very bright flash. Now, you didn't usually see tintypes this size being made um, back in the day. Uh, most of the tintypes you'll find from the 19th century are about the size of a credit card. because it's really kind of a pain to make them this big, to be honest. Okay, so I'm just going to mop off the excess silver nitrate from the back of this plate. All right. Are you ready over there, Adam? Yep. Okay, here we go. All right. So if you could see in the back of the camera here, um, you would see Adam's face, um, his graceful visage, upside down. And you get used to that after a while. But it is kind of a dim image in there, and it's a little bit difficult to see. So I'm going to focus it with this little magnifying glass. And Adam, if you could turn your face ever so slightly to the left. Perfect. Great. All right, just hold that. And now I'll close the shutter. <laughs> okay. Putting the plate into the camera and... Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. And one, two, Excellent. <laughs> Your vision should recover in a couple of hours. I'm okay. <laughs> well done. Okay. All right, there we go. Boy, I really hope this works. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to pour some developer on, on here. Simple developer, ferrous sulfate, a little bit of acetic acid, which acts as a restrainer to slow the developer down so it doesn't develop the unexposed areas. And the development happens really fast. It's like mm, 15 seconds. And the image will come up, and at first it'll look like a negative. OK. Oh. We got something. Oh, that's that is good news. far out. Here it comes. <laughs> OK, and that is like all the development it's going to get. All right, so now quickly just rinsing the developer off to stop the development. I look severely burned. <laughs> <laughs> I have been burned before, so it's okay. Okay. 
Now I look like the wolf man. <laughs> All right, so I just gotta rinse off the back real quick. Okay, and now the fun part, because we're gonna put it in the fixer, and the fixer is gonna clear away all of the silver salts that were not exposed and developed. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna look like the image is disappearing, but then it's going to come back as a positive. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is a magic trick. All right. <laughs> okay, so we can turn the lights back on now. The processing is complete. And I look just like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> it puts a good 20 years yeah. on everybody. <laughs> the camera adds 20 years. I've heard that. All right. Wow. So... There we go. <laughs> that is nice so work. beautiful. <laughs> so just, just a hint of a smile. Like the Mona Lisa. <laughs> With more bags under her eyes. <laughs> and a beard. All right. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Nicely done. What's that? Nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's absolutely gorgeous. You know what I love about your work is that not only can you explain it and you can do it, but you're a genuinely brilliant actual portrait photographer, too. It's hey. annoying. Thank you. Thank you very, Thank you very much, much, sir. <laughs>